just want to thank you, Lord, for every time you heard me pray. Just want to thank you for always being there when I was so down and out. You just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If I had a thousand lives to live, I'd give them all to my Lord. He's been so good to me. He's made the good times outnumber the bad. Uh, uh, He's yeah. been the best yeah. friend that I ever had. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to That's what I want to do. I just want to thank the Lord. Thank Him for His mercy. Thank Him for His grace. Thank Him for His greatness. Thank Him for His long-suffering. Thank Him for His patience. And my, my. And so you see, we've got a lot to thank Him for. Thank Him for life. No, life is not always what we like for it to be. But you see... We want a lot of things that is not really good for us. So I just praise God this evening for the opportunity uh, to be here. I let you know that Jesus loves you unconditionally. Doesn't make any difference who you are, what you've been into, my, how low that you fell. Uh, he's able to reach down and to pick you up. I heard an old boy testify one time. And, you know, he was saying, you know, you hear about people saying, well, the Lord reached down in the hog pen and picked me up. He said, I want you to know that he reached down through the hog pen, underneath the hog pen, and picked me up. <laughs> and so, you see, God loves you unconditionally. Doesn't make any difference. Uh, am I, you might be in the hog pen, too. But he loves you anyway. And he wants to bring you out. Bring you out. Lift you up. Give you salvation full and free. Doesn't cost a thing. No, it's free. He says it's not of works lest man should boast. It's a gift from God. Salvation is a gift from God to mankind. Why? Because Jesus bought it and paid for it when he took our place on the cross of Calvary. And when Jesus took our place in the mind of God, I don't know how God operates all the time, but in the mind of God, we were in Jesus when he died. And in the mind of God, we were in him whenever they took him and laid him in that old tomb. And whenever he was resurrected, we were resurrected with him. My, my, he ascended back to the Father. And we ascended up and walked in the newness of life. Well, glory to God. I'm glad for the greatness and the goodness of God. That God's able to bless you 
uh, as you walk down life's highway. He wants you, uh, uh, my, just to serve him in spirit and in truth. Uh, and so today, if you don't know this man called Jesus, I want you to know he knows exactly where you are. He knows your name. He knows how to get a hold of you. And so you see, that's the God that I serve. And so I'm praising him and thanking him for his mercy and for his grace. Uh, because it's by the grace of God. By grace, through faith, are we saved. And so you see, I, uh, we just want the world to know. Uh, and now, whenever you get saved, does not mean that you're perfect. Uh, I, 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 the Bible don't talk about any sinless saints. Uh, he says, we've all sinned and come short uh, of the glory of God. Uh, but you see, there's forgiveness. Uh, he said, if whenever uh, we have sinned, if we'll just ask uh, him to forgive us, he'll forgive us uh, and to cleanse us uh, uh, from all unrighteousness. Uh, and so I'm glad to today uh, that God is still God and that God still takes care of his children. And so you pray for us that uh, God will just bless uh, our sister Nancy. She sings these uh, fellows as they play some music. Uh, and my, that God will just use us uh, uh, as a team to work together uh, for the furtherance of the gospel of Christ. Uh, that's what we want to do. I'll be much in prayer, Brother Roscoe and Wilda. Uh, they went out of town for uh, a few days, so uh, you pray for them that God will just bless them. And uh, They've got a wedding that they want to go to, maybe two of them uh, before they get back. Uh, and so you pray for them that uh, God will just bless them and I keep them sheltered in his arms that uh, nothing will happen to them and they'll be back in a few days uh, uh, raring to go again, uh, wanting to get out there and sing for the glory of God. And so we thank God for these uh, uh, that are filling in the gap uh, uh, my, that we uh, can go forth in the demonstrations uh, uh, of the Holy Spirit. We thank God for all of those that uh, are listeners, all of those that we uh, I can't see. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, God knows where you're at. Uh, he knows your name. Uh, and so I, I'm glad for that today. And he'll save you right there where you're at. You don't have to be in church. Uh, he'll save you sitting there in your living room or uh, uh, you might even be sitting somewhere uh, on a bar stool. And you think God don't talk to you in there? Yes, he will. Yes, he will. And so I thank God in my mind. And so let's just keep praying. I want to pray for those that are sick and those that are afflicted that God would reach down and touch them. He's a healing Jesus. He says in Isaiah, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, he says, by my stripes you are healed. And then Peter says over in the epistle of Peter, he says, by, my, by his stripes uh, ye were healed. You see, where is past tense? Uh, he's already paid for that healing. Uh, if we've just got the faith uh, uh, to believe it, my, uh, and so you see, he says, now the prayer of faith uh, uh, will save the sick, and the Lord shall lift them up. And if they've committed any sin, uh, they shall be forgiven. Those are not my words. You read that in the book of James. And so you see, God's still God. I want to send it out to especially uh, out to Crystal and Chuck and uh, Wayne. I know Wayne can't pick us up, but nonetheless, uh, uh, we want to uh, just let him know that we're praying for him, that uh, God's still able to reach out uh, and to touch uh, in a mighty way. And so we thank God. I want to send it out to uh, my wife's brother and his wife, his wife, I has been awfully sick. She, I went home from the hospital, I think, today. And so you pray for them that and God will just touch them in a mighty way. My, and especially all of those that are unsaved. My, I'm praying that God will uh, speak to you. My, he, he'll give you dreams and visions that uh, uh, 
Yes, it'll even scare the devil out of you uh, that you'll want to repent uh, and get your life straightened up uh, and get ready to leave because we don't know the day nor the hour uh, that death is coming. But, but we can be assured one thing, it's coming. How do I know? The Bible says it is. He said it's appointed unto man one time to die and then the judgment. And so listen, honey, I know that God's real. How do I know? I, I've been there. He's He's answered a lot of prayers for me. And I, I've talked with him time and time and time and time and time again. Uh, and so we just need to reach out to him. Uh, I send it out to Ruth and Irvin uh, uh, today. And so you pray. Uh, Thursday evening, Thursday evening we'll be preaching uh, uh, down at Napier, United Methodist Church, little block church. Uh, uh, sits on the right-hand side of the road that you're going uh, south on 19, just before, uh, just after you pass Bulltown, if you're uh, going that way, and it's on the left of the road, uh, if you're headed north on 19. Uh, then on the 23rd, 24th, and 25th, uh, I'll be much in prayer. We'll be uh, preaching a revival down at uh, Walker Zeal to Mission Independent Church. Uh, uh, and so you pray that God uh, will just intervene. Uh, my, we want to see the lost saved. Uh, want to see the saved uh, filled with the Holy Spirit. So want to see the saved moved up just a little closer uh, to the Lord. Uh, I mind why? Because uh, we, we've grown so far, far away from God. Uh, and he says it's time uh, to come back. And, and that's the reason why I, I believe that our country is in the shape that it's in today uh, is because that we've, we've forsaken God as God spoke to uh, the Jewish people, the Israelites. Uh, and he says, you've forsaken me days without number. Uh, and you know, and that's how true that it is today. We've forsaken God days without number. How all, how long has it been uh, uh, since we have talked with the Lord uh, and we could feel the hot tears uh, running down our face? <laughs> And so you see, God wants to hear from you. Uh, yes, uh, I know it's good for me to pray for you, but I can't do your praying for you. You've got to do it yourself. Uh, and so listen, uh, uh, God still God you today, and he's still calling people. So we'd like to pray with you that God, I uh, would just touch you, that your life would be enriched and uh, you would be lifted up. Uh, brother, uh, I call him the old preacher. I, I down at Walker Zill, you pray for him that uh, God will just bless him and uh, his life will be enriched and he can go forth knowing, my, my, uh, that there's none greater, none greater than God. I thank God for him. Uh, and my, no, he's not he's like myself. He's not as well uh, as he used to be. And, and uh, it's awful hard for us to get both feet off the floor at the same time. Uh, but you see, uh, if God will pick me up and shake the devil out of me, then I can get my feet off the floor. And so I praise God. Uh, and so you pray. I uh, Usually on, on the third Friday night, I uh, haven't been there for a while, uh, but we go up to Century Sister Mildred Andrews. is the pastor. Uh, and on the third Friday night, uh, service time at 7 o'clock. And if you get a chance, you get out and come. Uh, <laughs> my, uh, why? Because we have a good time in the Lord. And so we want to look to the Lord in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you again today. We thank you for all of the blessings of God uh, that you bestowed upon us. Uh, and God, we realize that uh, whenever it comes down to worthiness, God, uh, that none of us are worthy uh, of the grace of God. Uh, if we really got what we deserved, uh, Father, uh, we'd be in hell today. But God, I thank you uh, that you don't reward us according to our sins uh, and our iniquities, uh, uh, but according to your love for us. Uh, and so I pray today, God, uh, uh, that you'd reach out and touch those uh, uh, under the sound of our voice today. Heavenly Father, those that are lost, uh, uh, that convicting spirit of God. 
I would just reach out and touch them. Uh, Father, that they would realize that this is the day of salvation. Uh, uh, tomorrow could be eternity. A lot of people will step off uh, of the stage of action. Uh, uh, God, before we make it back uh, uh, next week. Uh, and so I pray today, uh, God, that this might be the day uh, that they'd make peace with Jesus uh, and they could go forth uh, uh, knowing uh, uh, that their name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Uh, Heavenly Father, you said the anointing destroys the yoke. Uh, I pray today, Father, uh, that the anointing of the Holy Spirit uh, would fall upon those, God, uh, that are sick, uh, those that are afflicted. Heavenly Father, you would touch those limbs. Uh, God, you would touch those organs uh, that don't work, don't function uh, in the way that they were made to do. I pray, God, uh, that the Holy Spirit would move on people's hearts and lives. And, Father, we could be able able to hear uh, uh, the good news uh, of uh, what Jesus is doing uh, before it's too late. Uh, have your way today, Father, in the service. Uh, bless and use it, God, uh, for your glory. And we'll thank you in Jesus' name. Well, praise God. Sister Nancy is going to come back and sing us another song. This next song is on Almost Home. Amen. Be Many long years I've traveled this road I'm weary and tired Of carrying this load So often I'm tempted By Satan to
Well, I don't know about you, but I thank God that I'm a lot nearer home than when I was a few years ago. And I never forgot the time that, that I got so sick back in the 90s, 94, 95, 96, 97. I was, <laughs> I'd have probably died if I hadn't have been so sick. And it wouldn't have made any difference to me if I had it because I knew where I was going. But you know, there was a lot of people, they said, Earl, it's time for you to quit preaching. You've preached long enough. And I looked at them and I tell them, I said, now listen, preaching is one thing that I can do. That's about the only thing that I can do. Why? Because I shook so bad, my teeth chattered. And... I still have occasions whenever my teeth chatters. But you see, God knows what you need and God knows how to take care of you. I, I tell people that God took care of me when I didn't have sense enough to take care of myself. God took care of me. I, and so I, I told him, I said, no, the only time that I'm going to quit preaching is when the Lord takes me home. Then I'll quit. But other than that, I plan on just keep on plugging away at it. I, I don't know how much I've accomplished. I've seen a lot of people say, I've seen a lot of people heal. I've seen a lot of people filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, and you see, I'm not tired of the way. I'm not tired of the, of, of the job that I'm doing. There was a time that I would look at the Bible and I would look up and I would pray and I'd say, God, I can't find the message. I guess that you're done with me. I, I just can't find anything to preach. He said, Earl, look at the Bible. I picked it up and I opened it up. And every page that I turned to, I could see lines between the lines. He said, you see, you haven't got started yet. Well, and so you see, I'm still doing it. I'm still working at it. I'm not the best, but I enjoy it just as much as the good ones do. And so you pray. And I often tell people, I'm not a good preacher, but I'm loud. And so I'm glad for that today that God just made me like I am. There wasn't nothing I could do. And you pray for me this evening. I've had a, well, well, I've had some sickness, spent a little bit of time in the hospital and had pneumonia. Uh, and my, I'm, I'm still not up to par yet, but God's bringing me back slowly. And so you pray. I just don't uh, spring back as quick as what I used to. In the book of Peter, I love this scripture. He says, Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ. To them who have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. You listen to that scripture. Why, Peter, a servant, he was a servant of Jesus Christ. You see, what did a servant, how did a servant live in those days uh, when somebody had a servant? He's the one. I done done all of the lowliest jobs uh, that there was to do. It was the servant that did them. And uh, you see, it, it wasn't the man of the house. And so Peter is saying, uh, "I'm a servant. God, I, I'll do all them dirty little jobs that nobody else don't want. I'll do it." I'll go to all them places uh, uh, where nobody else wants to go. You can send me and, and I'll go. And so, you see, it makes, it reminds me a, a lot of myself. Uh, uh, back a few years ago, we, I bought a tent. 
Me and my wife drove all the way to Miami, Oklahoma and picked up a tent. And we brought it back and we began to set it up just one place, one place and then another. And as a fellow walked up to me one day and he looked at me and he said, Earl, I don't understand. He said, it seems like that you set this tent up in some of the most ungodliest places uh, I, uh, that I've never seen a tent sitting up there before. I said, that's what God called me to do. You see, I'm a servant uh, of Jesus Christ. Uh, my a servant would wash his master's feet. Uh, a servant uh, I would take the master's shoes uh, and clean them up. Uh, a servant uh, I would wait till his master came in uh, and sat down at the table and then he would serve him uh, uh, before he ever thought about eating himself. Uh, and so you see, Peter says, uh, I'm a servant. Uh, I'll take care of the things of God uh, before I even think about myself. Uh, I, I want to do those things uh, uh, that are right. Uh, and so he says, Peter, uh, uh, the servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ to them uh, that have obtained like precious faith. Uh, you see, Peter had faith. Uh, uh, yes, I know. Uh, my, my. Uh, that uh, he, whenever uh, Jesus was crucified, uh, uh, they was getting ready uh, uh, my, to take him and, and nail him on the cross. Uh, uh, Peter denied him. Uh, but honey, uh, can I just look back a little bit uh, and see uh, Peter had precious faith. Why? Uh, because uh, uh, when Jesus asked, uh, who do people say that I am? Uh, they said, some say uh, uh, that you're one of the prophets uh, uh, that uh, you're one of the, uh, uh, you might even be Moses or Elijah. Uh, you might uh, even be uh, uh, John the Baptist. Uh, uh, but Jesus looked at him and he said, who do you say that I am? And Peter spoke up and he says, you are Jesus the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus looked at him and he blessed Simon Peter for taking that stand you see why? Uh, because Peter uh, had a precious faith. Uh, he had a faith uh, that whenever uh, they were out there one night uh, on the sea uh, and a storm came uh, and the wee hours in the morning uh, they saw somebody uh, walking on the water uh, and my, they thought it was a spirit. Uh, after a while uh, somebody spoke up and said it's Jesus uh, and Peter said Lord uh, if it's you uh, I bid me to come to you on the water. And Jesus looked at him and said, come on. And so you see, my Peter stepped out on the water. I know there's been a lot of people that's criticized Peter because that he got his eyes off of Jesus and he began to sink. But can I remind you uh, uh, that there was 11 others or in the boat uh, and not a one of them got out. Uh, well, glory to God. You see, Peter uh, had precious faith. Uh, uh, that faith uh, um, uh, uh, got him uh, out there on the day of Pentecost. Uh, and whenever uh, uh, the Spirit of God fell uh, and preacher Peter began to preach uh, and 3,000 people uh, uh, were saved at that one sermon and so you see today we need precious faith faith in God God is able to do all things and he says you can do all things if you believe <coughs> all things is possible to those uh, that believe, you see, I'm a believer. That's the reason that I keep telling you, Jesus is a healer. Jesus is a savior. Uh, Jesus is coming back after the church. Am I? And so, honey, you better get ready. You better get ready. Father, in the name of Jesus, reach out and touch uh, in a mighty way. Set the captives free. Uh, deliver those that are in bondage. Uh, uh, save the lost. Uh, heal the sick. And we'll thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Uh, as our prayer until this time next week.